Today I want to talk about each and every step of increasing height using the MTN method. Knowing these steps can help people plan better. People who come for consultation are consulted by me or one of my fellow doctors. We try to explain to them all the information, including the difficulties, problems, or benefits of performing surgery using the MTN method. We advise them to talk to patients who have already performed the MTN height increase surgery by phone or in person. The reason for doing this is to reduce the stress of these people and also to see the result of the surgery performed by us. However, once the counseling process is over, the individual has the opportunity to make a decision. If they decide to do height increase surgery, psychological counseling is done. In addition, a series of preliminary tests should be performed. For example, a radiograph should be taken that shows the extension of the bones, the walking position, the amount of knee deviation and in general all the physical conditions of the person are tested and examined. The next step is to determine the time of surgery. Getting an appointment for MTN surgery is a bit long. This is because the equipment needed for surgery must be made according to each person's body. Therefore, determining the time of surgery may take up to a month. When the equipment is made and the time of the surgery is determined, the height increase surgery is performed. On the day of the surgery, a series of final tests are performed, and then the height increase surgery is performed. MTN height increase surgery takes about three hours. Two types of anesthesia are possible for surgery. One type of anesthesia can be local anesthesia from the waist down, and the other type can be general anesthesia. After the height increase surgery, we try to control the pain by existing methods. I can't say there won't be any pain, but the pain is significantly controlled. Private nurse, private room and amenities are provided for the patient. The day after the operation, either I or one of the collaborating doctors will meet the patient and check the patient's condition. Usually, the patient stays in the hospital for two to three days. The pain after the operation is more one to two days after the surgery, and on the third day and after that, about 80 to 90 percent of the pain decreases. Certain medicines are given to the patient after the patient leaves the hospital. A week after the operation, another appointment is made with the patient at the doctor's office, and the height increase starts from that day. At the same time, the necessary training is given to the patient. Increasing height by MTN method is very simple. It's just a simple turn of a screw. Of course, sometimes it may be a little more difficult to screw this screw, but it is easier compared to other methods such as LON. When the process of increasing height has started, the patient is visited once every two weeks, and x-rays are taken to evaluate the process of increasing height and the amount of bone formation. From the moment of height increase, we also start physiotherapy. Physiotherapy is performed three to four times a week according to the patient's condition. Blood tests are done every two months to check the factors that are important in the bone formation process. The said things will continue until the end of the height increase period of 6 centimeters. If at the end of the growth period, bone formation has taken place in a good way, we remove the height increase screw. 
since the increase phase is over, the patient feels better day by day. During the period of increase, there is no feeling of getting better day by day, but we keep a close eye on the patient's condition so that the condition does not worsen. How do we do this? By doing regular physiotherapy and exercises that will be taught to the patient. A very important point in the height increase period is the patient's sleeping time. The patient must sleep from 10.30 p.m. Other important points include healthy eating, not drinking alcohol, not smoking. The factors mentioned are very effective in the final result of height increase surgery. The patient's recovery period is usually twice the period of his, her height increase. For example, a patient whose height increase period lasts three to four months, the recovery period will be seven to eight months after the height increase period. One of the necessary conditions for the said recovery time is not to be overweight. The age of the patient is another important factor, the younger the person and the closer to 18 years old, the better the results. Both in terms of tendons, in terms of ossification, and even affects the amount of pain. The older the patient, the weaker the bone formation, and the pain may be greater. I generally do not recommend height augmentation surgery for people over 40, except in very special circumstances. My personal belief is that height increase surgery is not a cosmetic surgery but a therapeutic surgery. Height increase surgery can cause great changes in people's lives.